Good night, Rolf. Liesel. Yes? You know you don't have to say good night to Surly just because your father's home. How did you know my father was home? Oh, I have a way of knowing things. You're wonderful. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not really. Oh, yes, you are. I mean, how did you know two days ago that you'd be here at just this time with a telegram for Franz? Every year on this date, he always gets a birthday telegram from his sister. You see, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? Rolf, you can't be sure you're going to have a telegram to deliver here tomorrow night. I could come here by mistake with a telegram from Colonel Schneider. He's here from Berlin. He's staying with the Gauleiter. But I... No one's supposed to know he's here. Don't you tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrians. Some people think we ought to be German. They're pretty mad at those who don't think so. They're getting ready to. Well, let's just hope your father doesn't get into any trouble. Oh, don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I know. I don't worry about him. Only one I worry about is his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you, Liesel? Sixteen. What's wrong with that? You wait, little girl, on an empty stage for fate to turn the light on. Your life, little girl, is an empty page that men will want to write on. To write on. You are 16, going on 17. Baby, it's time to think. Better beware, be canny and careful. Baby, you're on the brink. You are 16, going on 17. Fellows will fall in line. Eager young lads and brewways and cads will offer you food and wine. Totally unprepared are you to face a world of men. Timid and shy and scared are you of things beyond your ken. You need someone older and wiser telling you what to do. I am 17, going on 18, I'll take care of you. Thank you. 